Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timo Parker. I'm a vocal coach and I'm here to help you to improve your singing voice. In today's video, I want to talk about the one and a half octave trap. So the thing is that actually every person that wants to can sound very nice in one or one and a half octaves without having to put too much training into singing. So for example, if you train a year or two and you just focus on the small octave range, you can get a pretty decent sound and you can use that to make music and to enjoy singing. But at some point in your career, if you're really serious about singing, you're gonna be bored, you're gonna be tired of always singing in the same octave and you wanna explore, you wanna break out of it and you wanna sing higher notes. This is what most people struggle with. It's not necessarily the lower register, but more towards the higher notes, it gets harder. And there's a problem that can occur when you are starting to focus on this new path, on this new journey, and you previously have just focused on this one and a half octaves or one octave. And the problem that we are facing here is most of the times that you have established some kind of patterns that don't allow you to break out of this one and a half octaves. So what you did, you were manipulating your instrument in a certain way to sound glorious in this one octave or one and a half octaves. Because if you don't have the problem to go higher, then you're not trapped in this one octave range. Which is very rare, doesn't happen that often. Most of us, we have to work very hard to unlock more octaves and more notes in our vocal range. Let's assume that you have been singing now already for two years, for three years. Let's even go a bit more extreme and say you've been singing for 20 years or 30 years. And now you have the desire to extend your vocal range. You have had something that you were depending on for a long time and you now have built an image around that. You are this person that sounds nice in that register and you maybe have built up a reputation on how you sound and who you are. But all of this can suddenly change when you start exploring higher register because now you are using different muscles, you're do, doing different things in order to explore your vocal range. And this most of the times is the point where the ego can hold you back for a long time because you maybe have the desire already for a while to break out of this octave thing, but somehow you never sound nice when you break out and you don't allow yourself to sound not as nice as you do in your perfect octave or one and a half octave and that's why you try to avoid singing in the higher register where you don't sound as nice or you maybe don't even train it and you maybe hope that just by pushing this register that you have a little bit higher each day maybe a half note things might change over time because you're training persistently but you're still holding on to the same patterns that hold you back so that's why i'm talking about the one and a half octave trap because it brings so many obstacles that we have to overcome. First of all, and this is depending on your situation and on your vocal technique, but most people that I had that sounded very nice in an octave and a half and they wanted to expand their voice, had some kind of patterns, behaviors that they were using in order to sound even nicer, which they couldn't do in the higher register. So certain things that were holding them back because they were not allowing themselves to sound ugly. Uh, or not as nice sounding as they are used to. So there is an ego thing that is holding you back in that point where you're like, oh, I'm not sounding as good as I do down there, so I better compensate. And because of this compensation, you start doing things that are not helping. For example, air pressure, maybe falsetto and other things. I talk about these things on the channel, so if you missed previous videos, you can head over to this playlist and watch the videos where I talk about a bit more in detail about air pressure, falsetto, head voice, chest voice, all these things. Because you have this image and this patterns, it can take a bit longer to let go. Because vocal training and developing a big singing voice has a lot to do with letting go and has a lot to do with allowing yourself to be who you really are. Because sometimes we try to mask our voice in order to sound more pleasant to please other people. But if you want to develop your voice, it's a lot of dirty work, it's a lot of trying around, and it's a lot of sounding unpleasant or unnice for most of the parts because you're exploring your instrument and you're growing your muscles. So the point that I want to get across here is that if you're trapped in one octave or one and a half octaves for a long time, you have to start changing things 
and you have to start embracing things and get into the unknown because most of us are afraid of not knowing and of change and the only way to get to the new chapter of using more vocal range like two and a half or three octaves is by implementing the right changes. And a lot of these things I already talk about on this channel. So if you want to make changes, make sure to check out the playlist and get started with the exercises. And it is important that you shake off your ego, you let the past you be in the past and you start now in the present to work on what you want in the future. And in order for you to make the right decision which changes you have to make, it is important that you understand your instrument, that you know a little bit about anatomy. And that's why I talk so much about anatomy on this channel. Because if you don't know that you're hurting yourself and that you're compromising your instrument when you are using, for example, air pressure or falsetto, you will not be able to make the right changes. And that's why knowledge is key when it comes to singing, that you know, what do I have to do in order to grow my instrument? And then make these changes and stick with them and accepting that on the journey of growing your instrument, of expanding your vocal range, that there might be unpleasant confrontations, maybe emotionally, but also the way you sound. And you have to start accepting it and work with it. Because sound quality is something that develops as a byproduct. Because you're training the right muscles, you can stay relaxed. And this is something that gets better and better over time. So instead of trying to put everything into this small area and try to have everything in there, Try first to expand your vocal range to have the ability to sing everything you want to, maybe not sounding as nice, and then step by step in this bigger frame, you start implementing more muscle groups, more, for example, vocal cord closure, less vocal cord closure. You are able to switch between head voice and chest voice and do all these things once your muscles and your instrument is prepped for it. Because once you understand how the voice works and what you have to do to grow your instrument and to actually expand your vocal cords, you don't have to look anymore for answers. The answer is here. The answer is in you, in, in the time that you have to spend with yourself and with the instrument to develop things. But you have the knowledge to know, okay, if I do a certain thing, for example, if my thyroid cartilage goes all the way up here and I'm compressing my instrument, this is not helping me. So that you know when you're practicing, okay, I have to focus on keeping it in the same position or lower. Just for an example. And all these things can help you to make the right changes in the long run. That will help you grow your instrument and that you are finally breaking out of this trap of being always in the same octave or one and a half octaves. And I hope this video could help you to break some mental barriers that you might have and that you can finally tackle the task of breaking out of this octave or one and a half. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. I have more voice content planned on this channel. And also, if you're interested in working with me, I offer one-on-one -on -one classes and I leave a link below to my website where you can book individual classes with me. So if you're looking for some guidance, hit me up and we can work towards your personalized goals. Thank you so much for watching guys and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.